The global and US burden of diabetes and obesity is enormous. About 422 million people worldwide have diabetes and 1.6 million deaths are directly caused by diabetes each year. According to the US CDC 2020 report, 34.2 million Americans, just over 1 in 10, suffer from ovarian diabetes and 88 million American adults, approximately 1 in 3, have prediabetes. Obesity and diabetes are little diseases. It is estimated that 5% of all deaths globally can be attributed to obesity. The cost burden of obesity is estimated at $2 trillion and that of diabetes $1.8 trillion, reflecting 10 to 20% of total global health spending. The three treatment pillars of both conditions include healthy diet, exercise, and a large variety of medications. Over 50% of people fail to achieve satisfactory control of their weight and diabetes using these treatment modalities. Poor patient adherence plays a major role. Weight loss surgery, also called bariatric and metabolic surgery, is indicated in patients with severe obesity and poorly controlled diabetes. The remarkable effect of gastric bypass on weight is achieved by substantial reduction of stomach volume, leading to early satiety with small amount of food intake and alteration of the normal passage of food, bypassing the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, that plays an essential role in the digestive process. The effect of gastric bypass procedure on diabetes is very dramatic. It is only part related to weight loss. In fact, a significant improvement in diabetes control is observed almost immediately after surgery before weight loss occurs. The early effect is related to complex neurohormonal response to food bypassing the duodenum. The remarkable weight loss and improved diabetes control led to a significant decrease in the risk of health-related complications. Bariatric surgery are abdominal operations performed under general anesthesia, creating practically irreversible change in the digestive system and are associated with significant risk of mortality and complications. Bariatric procedures are also very expensive. Only a small percentage of patients with obesity and diabetes are referred for bariatric and metabolic surgery. Now, Alavetics Medical has developed a proprietary technology, the Nobix system, an outpatient, minimal risk procedure that is non-surgical, reversible, and five times cheaper than bariatric surgery. The Nobix system is the future treatment for type 2 diabetes and obesity. It's a novel implant made of a highly flexible sleeve and a ring-shaped positioning element. By inserting the flexible sleeve into the duodenum, a barrier is created between the food bolus and the duodenal wall. This prevents caloric absorption and delay contact with the bile fluid at this segment of the bowel. The bypass initiates a type of metabolic restart, allowing our patients to self-recover from type 2 diabetes, regain their metabolic balance, and cut their insulin dose. The Nobix system is implanted endoscopically under conscious sedation in an outpatient setting. Being a minimally invasive procedure, implantation of the Nobix system is less traumatic and associated with a substantially decreased risk of major complications. The physiological changes induced by the Nobix system are entirely reversible. Once the therapeutic goals have been achieved, or in case the device is not well tolerated by the patient, the device can easily be extracted. The use of the Nobix system is applicable to a much larger proportion of obese and diabetic patients that, at present, are declined surgery. Implantation of the Nobix system is technically simple, easy and fast procedure with a very quick learning curve. It affords the operator the ability to perform several consecutive procedures in a short time, effectively utilizing the endoscopy suite. Post-procedural follow-up is simple. Compared with bariatric surgery, the Nobix system is substantially less costly. Alavetics completed a first-in-man trial last year. The goal of the study was to assess device safety over a period of three months in 10 patients. The device was implanted successfully in all patients. During the trial, we improved the design of the gastric anchor and the duodenal stent. The Nobix system had dramatic clinical effects. Daily insulin requirement decreased by 50% just days after the procedure. Serum levels of glycosylated hemoglobin decreased by an average of 0.47%. Within three months, patients lost an average of 13% of their baseline weight. A second human trial has been recently approved. In this trial, the Nobix system will be left in place for six months with an additional one-month follow-up after device removal. Successful outcomes of this trial will lead to early feasibility and pivotal multi-center clinical trials aiming for US FDA approval and European C mark. The Nobix system has the potential to cause a huge paradigm shift in the management of obesity and uncontrolled diabetes. 
Being a minimally invasive, low risk, low cost and reversible procedure, it would be applicable and affordable to multitude of patients that fail to control the condition using conservative measures, but at present I either do not meet the strict criteria for bariatric surgery or are deemed too high risk. We anticipate that the Nobic system will become an essential, safe and very effective tool in the armamentarium of every multidisciplinary bariatric and metabolic centers of excellence.